about what was going on inside the ICAC today. Uh, Bernard Keane, uh, these scandals that are dogging the Labor Party, is it too long a bow to draw a link between that and the lack of internal uh, democracy in the Labor Party at the moment? So many of these people who are mired in scandals uh, are, are people who've been installed by factions or by unions and not necessarily people who would win a vote if, the, if it was up to uh, the, the, the people in the, uh, in the community, as far as a, a branch went, for example. I don't think that's, a too, that's too long a bow to draw at all. I mean, this entire scandal we're seeing playing out before ICAC is, is the product of a hollowed-out, cynical party, and that's what the New South Wales Labor Party was for, for much of the last decade. Uh, and it killed them in the 2011 state election. And I think, you know, it's so serious is this and so toxic is it that uh, I think it's going to... I think it's going to account... It's going to be one of the chief reasons why Labor loses uh, the, the 2013 federal election. I mean, this is just, uh, you know, headline after headline, story after story, you know, absurdity after absurdity. You know, Moses obeyed saying, you know, well, you know, Jesus Christ put the map there. I mean... You know, New South Wales people are just looking at this and I think you know, it is just confirming all their darkest suspicions about New South Wales Labor and it's going to translate right into the way they vote uh, at, the, uh, at the next election and that uh, next election happens to, be, um, the, it happens to be the federal election. So, you know, the New South Wales Labor has already lost themselves one election in the state of New South Wales and I reckon that they're going to lose uh, Labor a federal election as well.